name is Alex Friedman. I've been a, I'm a tapestry weaver and I've been doing this for a long time. And I've been in the ICB about 15 months, so I'm relatively new to the building. This ICB building is a wonderful place full of very interesting artists. Um, there are many different art forms here, that, lots of painters and sculptors, and it makes it a very exciting and uh, dynamic building. We're all getting to know each other a lot better these days, so it's been fun. I started weaving in Boston years and years ago and then ended up moving to New York and I did my first big project was working for Pan Am, making tapestries for their 747s. So that was a very interesting project that paid well and sort of got me going on this whole idea. I actually had the opportunity when we first moved to London, we were on a 747 and the company flew us first class and we were in the front row seats so I got to look at the whole thing, which was very exciting. And you know, I told the stewardess that I had made that, and she didn't believe me. <laughs> but it was it was a good experience. And since then, um, other pieces have, have appeared in my life uh, out of that experience. So it was kind of quite interesting. And then I've lived overseas. I've lived in Connecticut. I've lived in many different places. But uh, when my husband retired, we decided to come to back to California, where I was born. And I've found the ICB because it seemed like a, I needed some place to work outside the, of the house and I wanted a place that, where there are a lot of other artists around. And it's been a very exciting um, last 18 months. I really enjoyed that. The building itself has an interesting history. It, it was uh, built during World War II and was the home of the, where Liberty ships were designed and, and manufactured. Um, it's amazing to think the upstairs was one huge open space, 400 feet by 100 feet. Now it's all, of course, cut up into studio spaces. But the building has attracted a lot of interesting people um, over the years, and I've had the chance to meet quite a few. Who Some have been here for years and years, and some have just moved in. I think recently there's been a, um, a whole new uh, generation of people coming in who have a lot of experience, and they have, um, they're able to, to market their work and get it out there. And I think that makes it exciting for me. I like having the opportunity of having lots of different people, different uh, abilities around. So it does um, provide cross-cultural uh, uh, ideas about people and uh, it makes it more dynamic. When we try to market tapestries, um, it, there's a great fear about fiber art. People are not quite sure how to deal with it. But um, there's a lot of very exciting work going on. I'm just one of many uh, people who are doing some very uh, interesting work, if I can say so. Um, it, uh, it, is, uh, I, th I think it's the new big art, the new form that's going to start catching on pretty soon. We've seen evidence of that in the Metropolitan Museum, which has put on two huge tapestry shows, and they were completely astonished at the numbers of people who came to visit it. And more and more people are interested. And I think as women, uh, there are more working women with more money, the interest in buying something that's more feminine, perhaps, is um, coming along. My first interest was in architecture, so I was very interested in the construction process and, and the, num the kind of light, how the light and shadows plays over uh, the, the surfaces. And a lot of my early tapestries reflected that. But for a long time, um, I kept thinking, this is a construction process. We are actually building something with the warp and with the weft. The warp is the, the vertical elements and the weft just carries the color and the design. And I thought, um, I want to try playing with some of this. and so. You'll see some of my more recent pieces, which are actually much more sculptural because I'm taking advantage of the tension that is uh, within the tapestry itself. And it's an area that I'm exploring and it's changing all the time. And sometimes when I weave it, it's completely flat as this one is. But when I cut it off the loom, it's going to start bubbling up and doing different things. Um, and so it's always sort of a surprise. So I hope you'll come and visit and have a chance to come and take a look at some of my work.